What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It is going to be a good one. I am holding myself accountable. I want you to hold me accountable for these goals which I am about to share. Drop this video a like if you're excited guys. Comment your thoughts down below and let's freaking get it started. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. So carrying on the trend from last year, right? Three different sections, gym goals, social media goals, and life goals. You guys can decide exactly how important each one of those categories are, but we're going to go through them one by one. The reason I'm doing this is because it's public, it's out there, everybody can see it, I can look back at it, I can know exactly where I am and I can know exactly where I want to be. From there, I can decide exactly how I'm going to get there. When you set out a goal, you have to have some form of structure. You can't just say, oh, I want to be doing this, oh, I want to be doing that. You know, you have to have some form of plan. You can't just wing it. Not always, anyway. You now rockin' with the best man. Dress game down to the sex game. Won't grab with the boy been blessed man. Let you play with the stick, old rich king. She calling, she texting, she's falling. But let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend skate girl, 'cause a nigga don't play them X games. Gym goal number one, plain and simple. I would love, and I know I can, to continue implementing progressive overload into my training to continue seeing progression one way or another. Like I said with the bench press video a couple of videos back. If that means seeing progression in terms of being leaner and just as strong, that is fine. If that means in progression in terms of seeing more weight, that is fine. If that means progression in terms of losing body fat, that is fine. And whatever goes along with that process is fine. As long as I am seeing progression one way or another with my training, I am content. If I'm just as still, going nowhere like I was after graduation, no, no, no. Not happy with that. Not good enough. I have to be seeing progression one way or another. Let me explain. Gotta tell your old boyfriend, skate girl. Cause a nigga don't play them X games. Goal number two. You gotta have some gym related goals, right? You have to be going in some direction. This is a bold statement. <laughs> last year, just before last Christmas, just over a year ago in fact, you guys saw me smash my first ever 100 kg bench. I'm putting it out there for everyone to see, to hold me accountable, for me to be held accountable from all of you guys and myself, family, friends, everything. In 2019, I want to shoulder press 100 kilos. <laughs> now, bear with me. It's doable. The reason I say it's doable is because at this point in time, in the past, I was a lot heavier, but I have shoulder pressed 90 kilos. 90 kg, that's a lot to be pushing above your freaking head. I've just done a set of eight solid on 60. I could push that up to 65, I could push that up to 70. So 100 kilos is on the cards. What do you guys think? You backing me? Because I do. <laughs> Next goal. To start seeing some of this. We've got the size. We need some definition, man. 
It's that. Well, where's the lines at, man? Where's the lines? I've always had big legs, but never very defined. 2019, we're gonna see some definition, man. Get enough of what you got. Good guys, you hit the spot. Try to let go, but I just cannot. So don't you stop. I need hate. Glow, try to cold, hide to even wait out in London town. Hoes holler cause they love my sound. And I got love for the underground. Oh, I love music, man. Music just has the power. So it's completely changing mood, it's mad. Anyway, on to the stuff that doesn't necessarily matter so much, but it would be good, you know? If you've been following me for a while, if you've been following the channel, following my Instagram, all that kind of stuff, you will know that at the end of every year, I set myself the goal to double the numbers that I had before, okay? So, 2018 goals were to have 1,266 subs, that was instead of 663. We have smashed that. We are upwards of 1,300, which means, as of the day of filming, we have 1,315 subscribers. Now the mathematicians out there will know that that means we need 2,630 subscribers to double what we have as of right now, okay? So, is this doable? I don't know. It means getting way, way, way above what we have done at any point in the past, at any year in the past. However, we have our shit together a little bit more now. We know where we wanna go. We know how we wanna do it. So doubling what we have this year, big target. Big, big, big target. But can we do it? Together, we will grow. That's the hook right there. That's the hook right there. Never mind that girl, let's make a track. I'll beat the pussy up. That's the hook right there. I heard you got a main chick. I'm a stress and some hoes. You be up to no good and everybody knows. Homegirls try to want me, they try to let me know. What you got, I need a lot so I can let you go. Alongside that, we have a goal for Instagram. Instagram is something that I'm kind of getting the hang of a little bit more. Instagram is something that, to be honest, other people must have known like the secret um, way before I did and didn't tell me how to freaking do it. Um, but I, I, I'm trying my best to kind of figure it out. We've just passed two and a half thousand on there and so the same goal would be to double that, which means 5K by the end of 2019. Is that doable? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea, but yeah, why not? Let's be positive. We'll see how it goes. Life goal of 2019. Continue having fun in the gym, man. That's what it's all about. I'm in the mix. Yeah, okay, puppy. Next up, life goals. To be progressing, I mean, these ones are kind of obvious to like progress within my professional life, like with, with my job and everything, to be happy and healthy and all that kind of stuff. Um, one thing I would love to do is just spend as much time with loved ones in my life as I possibly can. As cliche as it sounds, you know, I have that opportunity a little bit more now. I'm not at university, I can see the little ones a little bit more and stuff like that, you know? So. You're included in that too, Jess, aren't you? Hey, come here. Good girl. Where's Flicky? 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 Come, come. 
Hiya. Come here. Come here. Oh, she's a bit scared, look. <laughs> Sit. Good girls. Just little things like that. Family, relationships, like, well, everything, really. Friendships. Just make the most of them in, in 2019 and just... I'd say you're cute, don't you? You're cute. For those wondering as well, yes, at one point in my life I would love to compete. However, I've only been training for a couple of years, I'm no way near ready. I would just step on stage, make a fool of myself. If I'm going in, I want to go in to win. And pff, plain and simple, I would not win if I went right now, right? It's as simple as that. I don't have enough mass, I don't have enough like muscle tissue, I, I'm not, I'm no way near lean enough. It would take me months to even consider getting down to competition weight. But anyway, that is still on the brain, it's still on the mind, but it is not in the near future. That will be a goal for three, four years time, something like that, I don't know, maybe a little bit less. We'll see, we'll see how the training goes. But we're going in and we're going in to win. We're not going in just for the sake of competing, right? You know, you appreciate that? Right, okay guys, uh, that is, well, well, that's it. Um, quite literally my 2019 goals in numbers. We have the 100 kg shoulder press. That is bold. We're gonna make it happen. The subscriber goals, the life goals. That's literally it. Quite literally put a number towards, well, a lot of things. Which I don't normally do. Okay, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what your new year goals are. Let me know what your new year's resolutions are going to be down in the comments below. I wish you guys a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Have a happy holidays. I love and appreciate every single one of you. The next video you guys will see will be Boxing Day, which is Wednesday. So I assume it will be some sort of like Christmas vlog or something. It'll be cool, it'll be sweet. Have a good one, much love. Together we will grow. Let's smash 2019. Boom.